today just to describe a little bit about what physical therapy is, what drew me to the field, and why you should care about it. Um, and also fill you in a little bit about what I've been up to recently. Um, you've probably seen me a little bit more active on social media than I have been in the past, and so I'll tell you a little bit about what's going on. So while you guys are getting logged on and whatnot, um, I'll give a little personal intro. So I grew up in Arizona, lived there for 14 years with my fan, <laughs> with my fan, maybe I had fans, I don't know, my fam, and uh, I lived there for 14 years, like I said. So after that, me and my family moved to Minnesota, and uh, hey, thanks, Megan. Um, moved to Minnesota, Minnetonka, if any guys from Minnetonka represent, uh, lived there for another four years, went to high school in Minnetonka, Minnesota. Um, from there, went to NDSU, got my bachelor's degree in exercise science, and that's where I kind of started to develop a passion for um, health and wellness, really. And um, after going to NDSU, I got married to the love of my life, Laura Moran. She's on, I think she's on. Amazing woman. Super inspiring. Anyways, shout out to her. Got married and stuff. That was neat. And then after that, we moved out to Bismarck, North Dakota, where I'm now going to physical therapy school. Yeah, I see you liking that post, Laura. Yeah, she likes me. Proof. So, currently, I'm a second year in the physical therapy program. I'll be a doctor of physical therapy in a year and a half. You told me that. So, pretty pumped about it. I'm loving it. It's super hard work. All my classmates will tell you how <laughs> exhausting it is but it's so awesome at the same time. So if you ever want to talk PT with me, have questions about it, feel free. Let me know anytime. Um, one thing that I've noticed so far is I begin to develop a passion for seeing people accomplish their goals. Um, and really that's what physical therapy is all about. So that's been really cool for me, um, as, as well as just developing relationships with patients and people. And like I said, it's just that, that aspect of seeing people accomplish their goals and better their lives. And I get to be a little bit a part of that as a physical therapist in the future. So, so I'm going to kind of just give a brief definition of what PT is and what physical therapists do. So as PTs, we are experts in movement in biomechanics and how the body moves through different segments of our body, whether that's how the bony structures, the muscles, the nerves, the ligaments, the tendons, how everything moves together. And so we're experts in movement as well as, ready for this, neuromuscular skeletal anatomy and physiology. And so, yes, I did just make up that word, but what it means is neuromuscular skeletal anatomy physiology is how all these body systems work together and how we can treat all of these body systems at one time to achieve optimal results in patients to get them to be able to achieve their goals, whether that's just becoming more active, decreasing pain, um, getting someone, uh, maybe a, a geriatric patient who wants to be able to keep up with their kids again, uh, if you want to be able to play nine on the golf course, et cetera. So, how, basically, a PT is able to assess all these separate body systems and design a program to clinically um, help people to achieve their goals. So that's my definition, probably de different definitions out there. And so what we can do is we can, using different, um, we call them interventions in PT, so um, basically treatments, we can use therapeutic exercise um, to, in specific doses to be able to load tissue um, in the best way possible to help your body heal itself. So that's kind of what we do. There's many other treatments you've heard of. Um, there's there's um, different kinds of massage that you can do, dry needling, mobilizations, manipulations. There's so much that physical therapists can do, um, but I'll just leave it at that. If you have more questions, feel free to contact me. And so the field of physical therapy, um, there's so many different areas. And this is, I think, another reason why people don't know what PTs do, because it's so vast. And so PTs can work in acute care, uh, neurology, home health, cardiovascular and pulmonary, geriatrics, that older population, oncology is a new up and coming one working with patients who have cancer, pediatrics, the younger pop population, uh, sports, women's health. Um, I'm personally looking to go into more of the orthopedics. So basically injuries from head to toe um, or post-surgical. Say you, you get a total knee or you have to get uh, rotator cuff surgery. So basically musculoskeletal and with the nerve component. Um, any of those injuries is what I'll be looking to treat. So why did I get into physical therapy? What's, what's my deal here? So um, I'll take it back to the roots for you guys. So um, like I said, in Minnetonka, I played sports, fairly active in sports. Um, they let me play varsity baseball. So, you know, whatever is up to them, they let me. So I don't know, I can't do anything about that. But anyways, 
I was one of those guys who always got hurt. I was the guy always like, oh, what's what's Moran out for now? And it was just one of those deals. I was always the guy. I got really good at the bat flip tricks and flipping the ball and stuff. And that's how you know you've been sitting on the bench. So I basically had to seek it out personally and understand what it can do uh, for me, for me and my situation. Um, and through that situation, um, I learned to, well, I got, I got physical therapy on my own. And through, um, for me, it was a torn quad in high school. That was my big injury that got me um, into physical therapy. For, for my PT fam out there, rectus femoris tear, not a good deal. And uh, that was not managed properly for me. I got misdiagnosed um, by some, not to bash any profession in particular, because everyone, you know, all these different professions have, you're better and you're, and you're not so good, but I was misdiagnosed by some physicians. Um, in my case, some athletic trainers didn't give me the proper advice to help me get back to my activity. Granted, I'm not bashing anybody here, but that's just how it was for me. Um, and it wasn't until I sought out physical therapy that I you know, got some more results, and that was later on. Anyways, this continued as I walked on with baseball in college, and the same injury came back and actually caused me to have to quit my baseball career. I couldn't do it. And so in my NDSU baseball fam up here, represent, tell them. Um, so yeah, that's why I have kind of a personal investment in this field, because I've seen firsthand how it can help. And so, um, yeah, and along with that, um, I mean, I've had so many other injuries. I don't even, I could, I could list them all. I mean, I, like I said, I tore my quad, multiple an ankle sprains, ACL, um, throwing injuries, elbow, shoulder, that whole deal through baseball. You guys know the drill. Um, and along with those, um, I really think that PT fits in with kind of my personality of motivating and hoping to bring optimism to people who may not be feeling that optimistic or may not have that drive to achieve their results. So that's kind of how I am personally invested in it. But why should you care about PT? Um, a lot of research is coming out recently about how it is more cost effective to seek out physical therapy before you, say, go to your primary physician. What's up, Mark? Yeah, NDSU, represent. I see you. Stand up, Bison. So, um, like I was saying, um, seeking out physical therapy for normal aches and pains has proven to be a lot more cost-effective um, to manage those symptoms and those pains. And especially with the physical therapy uh, profession being more of a doctorate level, we're becoming more well-versed in some of these pain referral um, patterns that you can um, be seen from other conditions that may be something that's outside of our scope of practice. So basically, if you are going to a physical therapist first, they're more well equipped to not only handle your care, but to refer it when it's outside of the scope of practice. So I always kind of think of it like the car analogy. You never want to start getting the head gasket fixed on your car that's going to cost you fourteen hundred bucks. Um, you you want to go in and see, hey, is there a leak in is there a leak in the water pump? first, you know, and, and avoid spending that large sum of money. So there's kind of a simple framework in, in which you can kind of think about it. Um, another reason is PTs are really the musculoskeletal experts. And so when it is kind of that musculoskeletal problem, there's really no one better than us to do that. Granted, you have your excellent orthopedic doctors and other healthcare professionals who are on their game and know their stuff. But as far as physical therapists go, um, we know our anatomy, so it's kind of a cool deal. And so Anyways, just to kind of segue out of that, I don't want to be here on your too long, talk you guys' ears off. Um, but what I've been up to recently, you've probably seen me on social media a little bit more lately, and probably getting sick of me maybe, I don't know, but I'll fill you in. So um, basically what I'm doing now is I'm trying to educate um, within my sphere of influence on what physical therapy is. So later, uh, say something comes up where maybe you, you trip and you fall and you sprain your ankle, you know, something like that comes up. Um, I'd love to be a resource for you guys to reach out to me so I can help direct you uh, to get the best possible treatment for you. If it's something that physical therapy can help or if it's something where you're going to need to go see, seek other care. I'd love to be able to be that uh, point person for you guys. So just that educational component um, as well as just health and wellness. Um, I'm big into preventative care. Um, there's a big push for prehab these days. And so what can we do to prevent these injuries from happening? You'll see a lot of this with ACL injuries in youth sports, all the concussion stuff, but these prevalent injuries that are occurring, what can we do to help position ourselves to um, avoid these situations and ultimately avoid paying in and um, losing our time and our financial um, resources? So you'll see me posting blogs, common stuff that people are going through um, to, again, just help educate you guys. 
And so I'll, I'll be sharing my own stuff, whether that's uh, blogs, like I said, or videos, um, as well as I'll be sharing information from some of the top um, healthcare professionals and PTs in the field that I feel like would help you guys out. So um, as well as that, I talked about videos. I'm doing hashtag Motion Monday. Hashtag Motion Monday. It's something I'm doing just within my Facebook group, Andrew Moran Physical Therapy. Um, and that's something I'm doing. I'm usually posting either something that I'm doing once a week or something that uh, somebody else is doing that I think is pretty cool that you guys can benefit from. Typically an exercise um, that can help prevent an injury or I just, I've done ones on um, preventing ACL injuries and to help improve posture. So you're at like a desk job, stuff like that. So uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free, feel free to throw them in the comments um, or ask me afterwards, whatever you want to do. Um, and I'll just do a quick plug so you guys can find out how to get a hold of me. Um, like I said earlier, my Facebook page is Andrew Moran Physical Therapy. I can put it in the comments after this, as well as my website is www.rehabinmotiondpt.com. And through that, I'm offering some fitness services. So if you're, you're interested in um, kind of taking your fitness to the next level, or you want some guidance in order to do that more effectively to achieve some results, feel free to check out my page. I have some different um, fitness uh, training options that I offer online to you, so it's a little more convenient. So feel free to check that out. If it's something that interests you, go ahead and fill out a wellness consultation form. Um, and yeah, re some of you even followed me before I saw that my name was Rehab in Motion, which that is still my website. However, I just switched it to Andrew Moran Physical Therapy just to make it a little more clear that yes, it's me, the one who's doing this stuff. I'm not just sharing some random page, forcing it down your throat and saying, hey, this is me, I'm Andrew. So yeah, feel free to check that out. If this video was something that was helpful for you, feel free to follow along, like it or share it to someone who may uh, benefit from you. And that's really all I got for you guys. So if you have questions, feel free to throw them in the comment section. I can get to them afterwards and uh, have a great rest of your day. See you guys.